Welcome back to Ultimate Team Story. It's episode three of the Three Lions Tour, and uh, we've spent almost all of the money that we had from the part from the uh, previous two games, and I've brought uh, all but two players into the first team that are now English. Apart from Ben Swallow on the left and uh, the goal scorer Cunha up top, with an entirely English first team, and I'm quite pleased with it. High chemistry for. 74, considering we've got two non-English nationals in the side. And we come up against our first team in this episode. He's got a decent outfit, some uh, what look like some some decent players, a few shinies, and Azmir Begovic in goal, who's a quality keeper. So he's going to be hard to get the ball past with our bronze strike force and a bit of added strength in the middle with uh, Newcastle centre back. I can't remember his name. He's Hungarian, but he's silver, so he's going to be hard to get around. But 20 minutes into the first half, Acuna breaks down the right, cut the ball inside to uh, right back Hunt, who's pushed forwards. And here, I didn't, I didn't really want to tramp him, but you'll be able to see from the replay that I wasn't really going to have a decent chance of scoring when the ball broke after the the block shot. So Hunt cuts inside, block shot. And there's not really an angle to shoot here, so rather, it wasn't a pass. I tried to, you know, the triple tap X, the drilled cross, and uh, thankfully there was a man free at the back sticks, but it. Into the back of the net, we went 1-0 up. Acuna with good feet on the break, on a stroke of half-time. He's right back, playing Phyllis Kirk on side. And uh, rifles it into the bottom corner. Fantastic finish. Uh, if, again, in the replay, you'll be able to see, he tried to play an offside trap, but um, he's right back. I don't know whether it was because of chemistry with the rest of the defence or what, but his right back was out of position. Leaving Phyllis Kirk free to slot into the bottom corner, and that's how it finished at half-time. Phyllis Kirk again on the ball, cuts inside. Shows the second defender which way to go. Lovely finesse finish and a fantastic individual goal. To put us 3-0 up. This guy had had a few chances, but um, he got a great finish here. First time left foot rifles it. That was a great finish from Saucedo. Not sure what, how to pronounce his name, but uh, it seems to have hurt his wrist because he's shaking it a bit. Good anticipation for the interception. Ten minutes from time. Philip Kirk again with a good turn. Lovely feet. Rise the challenge from the defender, just holds him off and slots it into the bottom corner. <laughs> Cheeky brick drop celebration. And we go forward up, get a corner here, we'll try and knock the ball down. Acuna chests it down, can't really get control, ball's loose. Shot, Charlie Lee gets his, his heels clipped just as he's about to wind up for the shot, so uh, we get the free kick on the edge of the box. Now, I'm not too confident with the bronzer to take a, a proper free kick. Not sure whether I can get the ball up and down, so we decided to do a training ground. Oh, Charlie Lee! Decided to do a training ground move, and Charlie Lee on his weaker right foot. An absolute stormer. Rifles it into the top corner. See that one again? Yes, please. Bang! Stanch, pick that out. And that's how it finished. That free kick was right in the the last minute so we take a 5-1 win from the first game in this episode which will give us some more coins and uh, I think what I did in between this game and the next game was replace yeah replace Anthony Tonkin at left back with a better English left back and uh, replace Ben Swallow left mid with the English left winger from uh, MK Dons I can't remember his name off the top of my head it's not a very English name though as far as I can remember but I'm sure I'll find out in the next in the highlights of the next game uh, into the second game this guy's got uh, again, a really, really nice team. Obviously put a lot of thought into it. It's got high chemistry in 91. Uh, almost full shinies. And uh, a lot of English players. The uh, Austrian on the left is rapid, as far as I can remember. And uh, yeah, he had a decent team. But early on in the first half, we were able to get control of the ball. Balanta, that's his name. Left mid from MK Dons. Plays the ball into Charlie Lee. 30 yards! Oh, stanch! Another absolute peach from Charlie Lee, this time on his stronger left foot. And well, you can tell why it's stronger. Plays it inside. It's, it's a full 30 yards out, rifled across into the far top corner. Fantastic start to the game. Breaking down the left on the counter this time, only five minutes later. Finish cut, cuts it inside, tries to play a cheeky reverse ball through to Jones. Good shot, good save from the keeper, but thankfully for us, the ball falls to Acuna. And uh, after not scoring in the last game, he's picked up a goal there. Good strong tackle. Later on in the first half, halfway through, we catch him on the break again. This guy, oh, Phyllis Cook off the bar. 
Acuna with the follow up blocked Charlie Lee on his left foot bottom corner 3-1 up lovely this guy was having some uh, some decent possession but we were able to catch him on the counter attack quite a few times and that's how we all were able to build up that three goal lead but two or three minutes after conceding that third goal we actually managed to find a breakthrough Tomlin tried to slide to block a long shot which he didn't take and then a good left footed finish into the bottom corner and he's able to pull one back but just 10 minutes after that of a crazy first half Balanta rifles it from 25-30 yards good save Jones does one does a second and it's really unfortunate for him there uh, you'll be able to see from the replay we did actually get advantage from this tackle so we probably would have got a pen at the end anyway but tried to take the shot he gets a block in and it just floats into the top corner just before half time Jevons a lovely rifled finish and he's able to pull it back so we go in at half time after a hectic hectic first half with the score at 4-2 into the second half Phyllis Coat with a good turn slots it beautifully and we get that three goal advantage back again in the 66th minute and uh, that was kind of it for the rest of the second half until we moved into stoppage time. Balanta with uh, a good jink to see off the first defender. Just trying to sort his feet out. Sees off another two defenders and then digs it out the bottom of his feet into the top corner. And we get a four goal lead and it's 6-2 in the 90th minute. And it's a lovely goal to score on your debut. Good individual effort. Ebert, effort, dribbles past three players and then slots it into the top corner. Really good finish. Belanta again picks the ball up on the left-hand side later on in stoppage time. Phyllis Kirk does one defender, does two defenders, another mazy run. Puts the ball into the back of the net and it's 7-2. And that is how it finished at the end of this one. So 12 goals from two games and we've done uh, really, really well with these new signings. This seems to be settling well. The chemistry's high. The performances are good and... Um, Things are looking good for this bronze side. I think what I'm going to do in the next episode is replace Acuna. Yeah, he's been scoring a load of goals, but we want a, you know, we want a full English eleven now. So I'll replace Acuna, and um, then we'll try and bring in. Like we've got a base English squad. What I'll try and do then is move on and try and get the uh, the higher priced English players. You know, the top end of the bronze spectrum, and then we'll start moving into silver. But uh, thanks for watching guys, leave the video a like as always, and uh, I will see you in episode 4.